Good everyone, here's our latest video update on this Friday afternoon, November 30th on BOPA, which has intensified into a severe tropical storm as it continues to move across the western Pacific Ocean. The system was last located approximately 1,220 kilometers east-southeast of Palau or about 980 kilometers southeast of Yap. Maximum sustained winds have increased to 95 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 130 kilometers per hour. According to JMA, now we have to note that the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has already upgraded BOPA into a Category 1 typhoon with maximum sustained winds of around 120 km per hour. So there is a big difference between JMA and JTWC as of this time, although we do expect JMA to follow suit perhaps as early as tomorrow morning and upgrade this system into a typhoon as well. Uh, for now, the system is moving west northwestward at 15 kilometers per hour, so it has stopped moving west southwestward. It is starting to gain a little bit of latitude, but as you can see in this latest in a visible map, system is now on its uh, track, setting its sights towards this tiny island of uh, Palau. You see, system definitely looking much more organized, much more symmetrical compared to yesterday, and again. Uh, being upgraded to a typhoon by the joint typhoon warning center just uh, in their last update getting a little closer here looking at the latest infrared image can definitely see the improvement in the convective activity very strong very cold cloud tops as well right over the center see nearly negative 80 degrees celsius negative of the strong uh, convective activity and in fact uh, if you've watched our uh, video yesterday we were talking about an eye might be starting to uh, appear and in fact we are seeing uh, first signs of that on the microwave image you can see the eye wall starting to close now and starting to uh, become much more organized you can see a very small eye over there uh, in this uh, in this image right around 4 degrees north and 145 east uh, again indicative of the improvements the system has made over the past uh, 24 hours. Naturally, if you look at the uh, visible well, image loop from NOAA, you can see some sort of an eye, actually if you stop it right there, you can see an eye briefly appeared on the uh, visible image and it has become obscured once again as the system tries to sort out the eye wall issues, sorting out that and um, closing off the eye wall. And actually, if you take a look back, the microwave image does suggest that the system is almost uh, almost done in that eye wall formation and we could probably see a much more defined eye by tomorrow morning and uh, again uh, system well on its way uh, to continuing intensification continuing to intensify in the next few days here very good very favorable conditions out here wind shear remains slight to moderate and uh, as we all know, the sea surface temperatures out here in the Western Pacific are very favorable and very conducive for uh, further development. Now, as for the forecast tracks, unfortunately, the high chance of the system impacting Palau one way or another. Uh, the island are definitely in line. The islands are definitely in line for seeing at least typhoon force winds by Sunday uh, afternoon into Monday morning. In fact, we already have typhoon watches issued for Yap and Palau and the atolls in between issued by the National Weather Service. Also, the Emergency Management Office of Palau has issued uh, a statement regarding the uh, approaching typhoon, uh, talking about school cancellations and other services. Uh, if you are a fan of our Facebook page, Western Pacific Weather, you can head down to our page over there. We have posted the complete official announcement. Uh, from the Palau OEM. Fortunately, their website right now is down, so even if you give the official link, uh, you can't really access it at this time. Although, uh, if you are in Palau, you are urged to continue closely monitoring the system, uh, listening th to the radio or watching the television for the latest official announcements from your local officials. Again, uh, the timing here is Sunday uh, Sunday afternoon into Monday morning we're talking about winds of as high as 160 to even 185 kilometers per hour definitely category 2 borderline category 3 conditions um, this week and looking at the official forecast here from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center 
see them tracking this system just north of the city of Koror here in uh, Palau uh, taking this system between the hours again of Sunday afternoon into Monday uh, early Monday morning um, category 2 or even category 3 typhoon and look at that as you move into the early part of next week by Monday or Tuesday system approaching the eastern coast of Philippines particularly out here in eastern Visayas perhaps by Wednesday morning the worst conditions will be felt across the uh, portions of uh, let's see here the islands of Samar and Leyte are on the line here being shown the joint typhoon warning center uh, JMA meanwhile well actually JMA agrees mostly with the joint typhoon warning center forecast taking this system west northwest with very near actually making this is taking this system uh, right smack into the northern portions of Palau again north of Koror perhaps by um, Monday early Monday morning uh, bi uh, somewhat slower compared to Joint Typhoon Warning Center but similar idea with the track nonetheless of a strong typhoon possibly hitting Palau uh, far south of Yap though so we're not really expecting any typhoon conditions actually if you look at the National Weather Service forecast the wind swath and the legend below will give you an idea of the expected winds for Koror and Palau. Uh, definitely more than uh, Category 1. Uh, expecting the, You can also see the wind estimates are in miles per hour, but again, either way, 115 miles per hour or higher uh, impacting the islands by Sunday afternoon into Monday. You can see here Yap not inside any wind swath which is good news but they are still in line for some breezy conditions and even some light rain showers uh, same time frame as Palau and actually if you look now into Tuesday and Wednesday see them tracking this system as well into parts of the Philippines and going back to JMA here just quick um, final look and showing you a track 5 day forecast as well showing a track perhaps towards Samar so very good agreement now uh, between the agencies and also the computer model forecast of a track anywhere between uh, Eastern Visayas now is becoming much more of a target uh, but again uh, this is still five days away and uh, any slight changes can still happen although uh, chances are definitely increasing of a landfall out here in Eastern Visayas something definitely need to be uh, to be prepared and fortunately Philippine media is now starting to uh, give this system attention although Pegasus hasn't given any official warnings yet they are also uh, urging residents and also the National Disaster Risk and Reduction Management Council urging government officials out in these provinces to, uh, to start monitoring and even preparing the possibility of a strong typhoon hitting this part of the Philippines by the middle part of next week. That concludes our video update for today. You can you check out these official links and also National Weather Service at in Guam for the official warnings for Palau and Yap. Also westernpacificweather.com as always for the latest video and text updates. We'll have another video update for tomorrow. Now actually we'll have a live update with uh, Robert Spera swell and YouTube page so please check that out as well stay safe guys